What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends X-Men series Build-A-Figure Apocalypse Wave the Jim Lee Wolverine. This is a figure I have really been looking forward to and I'm really glad I have him in hand. What we're gonna do now is take a little break, get him open up, and then we'll have a better look at Wolverine. So stay tuned everyone. And so here we have Wolverine posed and out of the packaging. Before we have a look at the figure, let's take a look at his Build-A-Figure accessory. He does come with the Apocalypse tubes, which will connect to Apocalypse back. And they're a really nice accessory. We'll have a better look at those when we have a look at Apocalypse when he's all completed. As far as Wolverine goes, he does come with two pairs of fists. He comes with a pair of fists that have the claws in them, and they are detachable. And then he also does come with a pair of fists that don't have the holes for his claws so you can actually have him posed with his claws retract without having the holes in his knuckles. But other than that, Wolverine doesn't come with anything else, which I'm okay with. I, an alternate head where he's actually screaming would have been probably the best thing. But with that out of the way, let's have a better look at Wolverine. And so here we have a better look at Wolverine, and I have to say I really did fall in love with the way this figure looks. This is probably my favorite Wolverine in my collection, and he's just a really nice figure. I love the tiger stripe, and this is one figure I've been wanting since we got Wolverine in the Juggernaut wave. As far as the details on him go, I really do like this head sculpt. It's one of the better Hasbro head sculpts that we've gotten, and it looks really nice. I will say my one and only problem with it are the ears. The ears for Wolverine should actually be out a little more. You can see how that would make the figure look a little bit better. And we'll go ahead and fix that before the final thoughts and we'll see what that looks like. But I really do like it. I just wish he came with an alternate head where he's screaming. This one is actually really good, but I would have liked to see an extra head where he's just like going all berserk and that would have been so much nicer. Well it's nice to have alternate heads that would have been a really good one to have. You can see he is sporting the Jim Lee tiger stripes which I really do like. He has these shoulder pads which are done in a metallic plastic and the way Hasbro engineered them they're actually really really well done. They're actually on a little hinge that you can see works so you can actually move his arm up and the shoulder pad can actually stay attached to his costume, so I really do love that. Going on to his arms, these are a completely new sculpt. On mine, you can see some of the blue has rubbed off. That is a little bit unfortunate, but nothing a little fingernail polish can't take care of. I would have liked to see the hair on his arms painted. It is sculpted on there, it's just not painted, which is a little bit of a shame, because Wolverine is a hairy fellow. His gloves are sculpted on, they're painted blue, which you can see some of that paint isn't the cleanest. On this side it's the same thing, but it's a pretty good blue, it almost matches the molded blue plastic. And then we get to his claws, which unlike the Juggernaut Wolverine, these ones are done in a little more metallic plastic. Now they're not 100% silver, but they do look nice. One problem I have noticed is that they don't sit 100% tight in his socket so you do have to adjust his claws every so often but when you get them adjusted they look really nice. Going on to the rest of his costume he is sporting the X-Men belt which it's just red with the black X-Men logo wearing the blue trunks and then this is one problem I have with mine he is riddled with black paint throughout his left leg uh, he also has a serial number, but that's easy to remove, and you can see what I mean. Just so much black, sloppy paint on both his legs. I don't know why it's there, but Hasbro did get a little sloppy with this Wolverine's paint job, at least on mine. And then he is sporting the blue boots with the cuffs, and I really do like the way that came out. So overall, Wolverine here is a really nice figure. So what we're going to do now is actually get him compared to a few figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have Wolverine posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a Marvel Legends Deadpool. Here we have Wolverine posed next to the Juggernaut Wave Wolverine and X-23. And finally here we have Wolverine posed next to longtime nemesis Sabretooth. And you can see Wolverine is quite a small figure which is pretty accurate to the comics. 
So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually have a look at Wolverine's articulation. Now, he does have the same articulation that the Juggernaut Wolverine had, which was a really good figure. And he has the exact same articulation, so you know what to expect. If you're not familiar with that mold, let's actually run through it really fast. He does have a ball joint in the head, but because his head sits lower on the joint, he really doesn't get too much up and down movement on that ball joint, and then we don't get any more side-to-side -side pivot. It does rotate left and right. And then it is on a hinge, which lets him look back. Pretty good. He can look forward. Also pretty good. Buries his chin into his chest. Arms go out to about that far. They are a little hindered by the sculpt, which... If you can get it, yeah, his arms don't go anywhere past that, but you can manipulate it to get his arms out to the side. Which is a little bit unfortunate that these shoulder pads, as nice as they look, do hinder some of his articulation. He does have a swivel right here in the bicep. Double jointed in the elbow, only gets about 90 degrees, and you can see mine is a little bit loose, but it's nothing too bad, it still holds its shape. He does have a swivel and a hinge in the wrist which works no problem there. I have noticed that it doesn't take much to actually move these claws so be careful when handling them because you're gonna find yourself readjusting his claws quite a bit if you touch his hand too much. He does have a butterfly joint which works pretty well, goes f that far back, comes all the way forward so good range of motion there. He has an ab crunch which goes back only about that far but he crunches forward really well. I really do love that ab crunch. He swivels at the waist, legs go forward quite a bit, they go back about that far, they go out only to about there, but that's pretty decent for Wolverine. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. He swivels at the thigh, he is double jointed at the knee, no issue there. He does swivel at the boot, he has a hinge in the ankle which doesn't really go forward, but it goes back. And then we have forward-facing pin for Rocker, but on both mine it is kind of loose, but it's nothing that is going to make the figure collapse in on himself. But with that out of the way, that's with the Wolverine for you. So what we're going to do now is get him posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. And so here we have Wolverine posed for my final thoughts, and I did go ahead and try opening the mask up just a little bit to make those ears spread out, but they are a really gummy plastic, so... You may have to add some plastic in the back of his ears to actually get him to stay. But as it stands, it's still a really nice figure. And it's a costume I really did want. And it's been one I've been asking for since we got the original Juggernaut Wolverine. So I can't be more happy that we finally got the Jim Lee Wolverine. Now I did happen to get this figure at my local comic book store. So huge shout out to Asylum Comics for hooking me up with this figure. Now, this figure is going to run you about $19.99 at retail, so you are going to pay about $21, $22 for this figure, which is a pretty good pricing. So this is a really nice figure, and it's a costume we have been wanting for so long, and Hasbro actually nailed it with this release. So if you can find this Wolverine, definitely pick him up if you're a fan of the X-Men. The animated series, the Jim Lee art style, are just this costume in general. You won't be disappointed with them. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other Marvel Legend videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it fits in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.